Namaste and welcome to today's trauma sensitive yoga practice. Trauma sensitive really means that this practice is an invitation for you to enjoy it. But if you at any one time deem something doesn't feel right, it's uncomfortable or painful, please take care of yourself in the practice. Ahimsa, the absence of violence, is the notion, the umbrella term that governs the entire yoga practice and the one that we often hear in class. Take care of ourselves in the practice and not beat ourselves up in the practice because the practice will always meet us where we are. You are in the driver's seat. We will focus today on our hips. That is our sacral chakra. That is our sense of identity. Who am I and why am I here? And where may I wish to go? That's a big topic. I have covered my mat with a blanket. You can lay on a nice, comfortable carpet. You don't need to have a yoga mat or blanket. You probably don't want to lay in your bed, though. That might be too soft. Let's get started. We will start on our back. And so as you come onto your back, evaluate if your chin and shoulders are pulling upward. You may like to support your neck with a blanket or a pillow. And sometimes we don't know until we try. It's like, does that feel good? Yeah, that feels good. And then you may at some other point decide, doesn't feel good, and then just remove it. We'll place our hands on our belly. And that just provides a nice feedback. So as you breathe in, can you feel a soft rise off your abdomen? And as you breathe out, the belly relaxes down. Let's make it easy. And if it feels safe, I invite you to close your eyes or maybe just half closed so that the gaze is inward and not outward. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. So I know that this is allergy season. So if it's not available today to breathe through the nose, then breathe through the mouth, of course. Let the breath be easy. Belly expands a little bit on the inhalation, and maybe you feel a little expansion in the pelvis too, into the hips. And just let it go on the out breath. Breathing in, and then let it go. As you breathe in, if you notice some negative thoughts or memories in your body, allow them to flow out with the opera. As if they are melting right down into the earth. The earth receives everything. And she will change the yuck to positivity. So don't be worried about discharging. Soft and easy. Belly expands and then relaxes down, letting go. The belly breath, diaphragmatic breathing. You can use any time you start feeling ungrounded, overwhelmed. 
It can help. You go to sleep. This is signals to the body that you are well. So it allows your nervous system to begin to self-regulate. Now, as you inhale next, and you can keep your eyes closed as comfortable, just allow your low back to lift up a little bit away from the mat. And as you exhale, it drifts right back down again. Inhale. Low back lifts a little bit. And exhale, flowing back. And just allowing, not forcing or pushing. Inhaling arch. And exhale, relaxing back. Just a gentle rocking back and forth over the sink. Now, from neutral, I invite you to take a breath in for nothing, just a neutral belly breath. And then exhale, hollow out the belly, flatten the low back. And you feel the abdomen pulling down. And then inhale, let that go. Let's take a full breath in and out again. And then we repeat. Inhale for nothing, and then exhale. Pull the belly in, flattening, and letting that go. A gentle strengthener for the low abdomen, our Dantian in Eastern art, martial arts. This is our powerhouse. One more time, breath in for nothing. And as you exhale, flattening the low belly. And maybe down, draw the pelvic floor up. And then let it go. Neutral breath in and out. And then we'll combine these two. We'll inhale and arch a little bit, low back lifts. And then exhale, we just float back to neutral. Then we'll take a breath in for nothing. And exhale, now flattening. Pull the belly in and up. Maybe engage the pelvic floor. Lifting and then relax. Full breath in and out. And we repeat, inhale, arch. And then exhale, flattening, draw the belly in and up, and the pelvic floor if it's available. And relax completely. Puff a breath. One more time, inhale, arch. And don't, don't make it a huge, big arc. You can make it a, it's a right size feel. Neutral, we take a neutral breath in. And then flattening, contracting the pelvic floor, pulling upward, flattening the lower abdomen, and then relax. And then let the breath return. Maybe the breath became a little freer in the belly. We carry a lot of tension in our lower abdomen and in our hips. Now slowly allow your right leg to slide out. Sliding it out. And then let it flop to the side. Take a full breath in and out. And see if you can relax it just a little bit more. And then we'll draw the foot back up again. 
I'm going to scoop up because I ran right off my mat and blanket. Then slide the left leg up. I let that flop out to the side. Take a deep breath in to the belly. And invite the left leg to relax, letting go. And we'll slide it in. Right leg slides out. Relax. Breathing in and out. Sliding it back up. Now you may find you like to stay for another breath or two with the legs straight by all means. This is your practice. Slide the left out. Let it relax. Sliding it up. And right leg again, one more time, sliding it out. What does that feel like? As it lengthens out and then relax. It's safe to let go. And you support it by the earth. Sliding it up. Little effort as possible. Left leg one more time. And letting that go. Belly breath in. And relax the hip and the whole leg. And we'll slide the foot up again. Now relaxing the arms. And then as you inhale, draw the shoulders up to the ears. And exhale, draw them down. Feel how that's a limitation to flatten. And then we just let go. Breathe in and out. And then we repeat. Inhale, belly breath. Shrug the shoulders up. And exhale, draw the shoulders down. And let go. Neutral breath. And we'll do it one more time. Belly breath, shrug the shoulders. Draw the shoulders down. And let go. And then we'll build a little bit on the one we did before. Now, draw the right knee in towards the chest. And release it back down onto the mat. And we'll slide it out long. Just as we did before. Relax the leg. We'll slide it up. This time we're gonna stay on the right side. Draw the knee in, just the right amount for you. If there's pain, back off. Back off so that it's comfortable. That it's easy. Let the leg relax. Teaching your body that you're taking care of it. So it can take care of you. I'll do it one more time. Slide the leg up. And lower the leg back down, sliding it up. Letting go. And then slide the left leg out. 
And then sensing right hip, left hip. What has changed? And as you breathe in and out, maybe the breath flows a little easier into the left lower belly. Let's bend up the right leg. We'll slide the left leg up, drawing it in and releasing it back towards the floor, sliding it out. Relax. So we always want to right size the movement so that there is no violence. You are in control. And sometimes that may mean that we will imagine the movement without actually doing it. Maybe not lifting the leg. Your brain is still getting the benefit because you imagine doing the movement. So we get the nerves firing, the motor nerves and the sensory nerves. Reconnecting all the parts so that we feel whole and well. One more time. And sliding it out. And we'll slide the right leg out as well. And relax the legs. Breathing in and out. Can you sense the breath in your belly? And in your hips. Maybe even down into the legs. Let's roll the legs in and out. And then we'll bend up the knees again. Taking a breath in for nothing. And then as you exhale, let your head just gently turn to the right. Inhale back to center. Now we turn to the left. Inhaling up. And exhale, releasing to the right again. Back and forth. Making it easy. Inhaling to center and relaxing to the side. Center and exhale to the left. And returning to neutral. Let's slide the arms up a little higher. And then we'll start with our knees bent for this next sequence. It's a great sequence for your back, but if there is a lot of chattiness today, keeping the knees bent may feel better. From here, we'll start with the breath in and then exhale. Let's hug the right knee to the chest. And we'll take the knee to the side. And then we'll take it across. We'll inhale back to center, take the hands behind the thigh and press up through the right heel. And we'll exhale, hug the knee back in and release it back to the floor. Let's do the left side. Take a breath in and exhale, hug the knee in. If it's available, lift the chin to the chest. And we'll take the head down and take the leg out to the side. Then we'll take the knee across. 
in, back to center, clasp the hands, and press up through the heel. And hug the knee in, and again, maybe lift the chin to the chest. And inhale, down. Taking the legs long or keep them bent, if that feels better for your body today. It's not like one is better. The one that's right is the one that's right for you. Let's take a breath in again and exhale. Hug the right knee in, maybe the chin to the chest. Inhale, we'll take the knee to the side. And we'll take the knee across. Maybe twisting a little bit if your legs is straight. Inhale it back. Take the hands behind and press up through the heel. And exhale. Hug the knee in and inhale. Release back out. We'll repeat on the left. In breath and then out breath. Let's hug in. And take the leg to the side. Take an eight across. Inhale into center. And press up through the heel. And hug the knee back in. And inhale. Let it relax down. We'll repeat. Take a breath in. Excuse me. It's spring season in Greensboro. Take the leg out to the side. Taking it across. Back to center. Press the heel to the sky. And hug the knee back in. And release. Deep breath in and exhale. Hug the knee in. Take it to the side. And take it across. Back to center for the hamstring. Pressing out through the heel. And hugging it in. And relax. What do you think? One more time. Breath in. Exhale. Hugging in to the side. Across. So helping our hips move through its different range of movements. Press the leg up. And knee in. And relax. Last time on the left. Let's take a breath in and exhale. Hugging the in to the side and across. Back to center. Pressing up. And hug the knee in and relax. Now pause. As you breathe in and out. Notice your body. And again, if you find that something negative bubbled up, allow it just to discharge on the out breath, right into the earth. And then when you breathe in, replacing that space with joy. So maybe energy, thinking of the sun, strength, we'll bend up the feet. For bridge pose. So for this, I recommend nothing or very, very little under the neck. Take the arms down alongside the hips and just bend up the elbows. It gives us a little 
push. Not looking to this part to be the biggest bridge ever. Just to get our hips moving back. Lifting and spreading the toes. Maybe just slide them over on the, on the mat. So this is where the pose begins. From the feet. Strong and grounded. Think of the bridge it has to connect from side to side. So we want strong footing. And then from there, inhale. Squeeze the buns to help lifting up. And then exhale, lowering back down. And then let go. Take a breath in and out. And then we'll lift again from the feet, pressing down, and then contract the glutes. And then slowly lower down. Breath for breath, in and out. And we'll do it one more time. Press the feet down and squeeze. Strong glutes is your back's best friend. Breathing, holding, and letting go. And then let's draw the knees in. Rock from side to side. And if you would like, you can draw little circles with the knees. This helps massage the kidney. The kidneys are the seat of fear, according to the yoga philosophy. We store a lot of fear here. Now, we can massage it out. Let go a little. I also calm down the adrenal glands. They can get things really rubbed up. But we can relax them with this gentle massage and with our belly breathing. Let's release the feet back onto the mat and just slide them back out again. Take a deep breath in and out. Now from here, let's bend up the knees one more time. This will take the feet a little bit wider and take the arms out to the sides. And this one is called the washcloth. We are gonna do a little shoulder wringing. So we'll think about just rolling the arms up. And we'll roll the arms in the opposite direction. Back and forth. Our shoulders are pressing into the earth. And then when we roll the hands towards the feet, the shoulders will lift up. And so just go back and forth. You can feel this is like a little invitation to the spine for a little flattening, a little arching as we roll back and forth. This is as much about exploring as it is about doing. So the movements don't have to be big at all. They can be very small and still exploring. Now, we're gonna roll the right arm up with the left arm down. And we're gonna switch. So now the arms are going opposite. Hence the name, the washcloth, wringing it out. Let the head turn to the side where the arm is rolling up. Back and forth. And then last to this, we will add our knees. So next time you're looking to the right, looking at the right arm turning up, we'll take the knees down to the left. 
And then we roll through neutral. And we go to the other side. Left arm rolls up. Knees go right. Side to side. Exhaling to center. Inhaling, moving into the twist. And if you find that this is just a big hot mess with arms and knees, just let go of the arms. It don't matter. Or let go of the knees if you like the arm movement. Key is really that you are enjoying the movement. The body loves to move. And movement is needed for all systems in the body to function well. It doesn't have to be hard. But movement is the opposite of stagnation. So we move stuff out so we can make room for new stuff that is beneficial to us. And as you come back to center, Whew. Let's draw the knees in again. And then let's take the legs to the sky. Take the arms to the sky. We're going to shake it out. Shake. Get a little wiggle. Wiggly, 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 wiggly. Not too much, not too little. Just a little temper tantrum. We're going to shake off what's still maybe in there. And then we'll hug the knees in. And we will let the legs come down. If again you're having a back day, you may like to keep your knees bent. You may also like to put a pillow or blanket under the knees so that you can relax them out. You may also like to put the blanket under your head again. So you want to be comfortable. So go ahead and pause me if you would like. So setting up so you can really relax. I don't like the cold floor in my hands, so I cover my hands when I relax them up to the sides. And then I relax in. You see an animal before they really let go, they do a little sort of wiggle fest again, settling in so that the physical body is comfortable. From the physical body to our breath body, prana, our life force, all that movement on the inside, the breath that moves in and out, the beating heart, the pumps of blood, around the system, the digestive system that's working, nervous system constantly sending signals, are you okay, yeah, I'm okay, are you okay, yeah, I'm okay. What should we do? We should relax. So as you lay still, I invite you to relax your eyes. Let them relax down into the socket. And if it's uncomfortable to close your eyes, just keep a soft and relaxed gaze. Relax the bridge of the nose as if it's flattening a little bit. Relax your inner ears. And relax the tongue and the jaw teeth and the gums. And relax the skin. So all of the sensory organs are taking a little break. From the body, through the nervous system, to the mind, letting the mind relax as if you're sliding it from the frontal brain, from the forehead to the back of the head, just tucking it in. And 
And if the mind is really busy, some days it just is. Just let it rest into the rhythm of your breath. As it is swinging gently in a hammock. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. And then bring your awareness to your heart center, your heart and the lungs. And take a deep breath in to your lungs. That hugs your heart. And then relax. As if you were breathing in and out of your heart. Breathing in, I am calm. And breathing out, I am relaxed. Breathing in, ease. Breathing out, relief. You can choose any words that you like. And when you speak these words inward, it gives the mind a little bit to hold on to so it doesn't jump into its patterns of busyness. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, I feel my body. Breathing out, I smile to my body. Breathing in, feeling my body. Breathing out, I smile to my body. And then gently begin to deepen your breath. Now you can stay here as long as you like. But if, if and when you're ready, just wiggling fingers and toes. Bending up the knees. Then we'll rock the knees gently from side to side. And then we'll roll all the way over onto the right or left side, whichever is most comfortable for you. And then using the arms and the hands, pushing up into a comfortable seated posture. And we'll close with OM. The mantra that signifies everything that ever was, is, and will be. Many teachers say it is the most powerful of all our mantras. Mantra just means path for the mind. When we chant Om, we invoke the vibration, the highest vibration of joy and ease and wellness. We can say it out loud, but we can also say it silently. It works just as well. Bring our palms together and we'll close with three palms. I invite you to join me, but if you prefer to listen, I 
absolutely respect that. Let's take a deep breath in. Thank you. Namaste. May you have a wonderful rest of your day and all days until I see you again. <laughs>